Hey guys, um, I know it's been a while since I gave y'all some updates, and I figured in this video I'll throw y'all a little bit of a pigeon update also. So, I've got this pair in here. They've got two little babies in here. Oh, this one I checked earlier. He's going to end up being a red. I'll show you their baby from last round. I'm not breeding for racing right now. I will next year. But he's banded. I can't tell what color he's going to be yet, but... He's really light, so I'm judging he's either going to be a red or pied. Looks like the chicken has scratched water around. Or not water. Hay and junk around in the water. But, um, let's see. The pair that I just showed you, that's their baby right there from last round. He's grass-legged. And then, there's Carmen. Um... There's a red, there he is, he's over there. That silver cock and that grizzle hen, they're last crown babies are right there. Um, can, you, can you guys in the comment section please tell me what color he is? Because he's definitely not a mealy, because the other two babies out of that round, there's that mealy, silver, whatever, white flats, and then there's a hen in the background. He looks absolutely nothing like it. I know he's... He's a grizz of some sort. I think he's cool because he looks like he dipped his feathers in paint. Um, that pair up there hasn't done anything. I'm fixing to break them up. There's that young male right there from this season that I flew, which I pulled all those birds out because the hawk was just being way too detrimental to all of them. And then there's that hen. She's looking absolutely phenomenal. I really like her. We got another hen down there. We got some throwbacks, of course. Always gonna have my throwbacks. That little white wind out hen got her two little cuckoo white wind out babies. And then I had a pair of, a pair of throwbacks come and set, set, and I gave them the homer eggs because they're they're a brother and sister pair. I mean, they aren't nest. Well, I guess. It, they're out of the same pair, but different times, but you get it. That's not good. And then the owls, I went for them to lay again so I can foster their eggs with the homers. Yeah, I'll get into the main focus of the video, guys. Alrighty, so I'm going to show you guys some of my 2022 show string. As I'm sure some of y'all saw from my State Fair video, this is the rose comb hen that won Champion Mediterranean and Reserve Champion Largefowl. She's trying to run out on me because most, almost all Mediterranean breeds are a little bit more spooky. She'll move around for us and not stand in the corner. <laughs> no, no girl, no running out. She's phenomenal type. And right now I'll go into deep tail for some of y'all. Whenever we're judging and breeding our Anconas, um, we want birds with little to no solid color white feathers at all so as you can see those white feathers are not solid white that's ticking ticking i don't know the best way to describe it like we took a white paintbrush and just dabbed those feathers now the pullet who's right next to her single comb pullet as you can see has a little bit more white in her tail it's not a dq because it's not a solid white feather which we don't i don't even know they dq that She's got a little bit too much white in her wings. But whenever it comes to size, this pull is phenomenal. Usually it takes Ancona is almost a year and a half to reach her full size. But this female is almost as big as the rose comb hen. She's just phenomenal body shape, weight, width, width over the top of her feather width. She's just, I like her a lot. She was reserved breed. It was between that rose comb pull and this Rose comb hen, not pull it. And the single comb pull it. I'll show you another. Well, it's a single comb hen from last year. I'll show you her compared to these. She's got a few more different flaws I want to talk about. So, yeah. Here's here's that single comb hen I was just talking about. She's got really great body width and mass. She's really big built hen. Her comb could be a little bit larger. I'm not going to lie. And as you can see in her tail, it's a lot more white. And it's angled up just a 
just a tick too high for me. I'd like to angle it down a little bit more and put a lot more black in it. I'm all right with that little bit of white in them, but that her body color is a lot better than her. But her tail color is not, but her wing color is also good. But yeah, these are three of the Ancona females I've got on the show string this year. The other female got out on me this morning and she's just been running around acting haywire. But I'll show you a few more a few more birds that I'm gonna be showing at Shawnee here in a few weeks. Alrighty, so first I'm gonna talk about this Rhode Island red puller I have here who's standing absolutely beautiful. Well, for starters, her tail angle is dang near perfect. I would love this pullet. She won at the county fair. I don't know how she didn't manage to win at state. Granted, my males beat her, but I've... Every once in a while, you start to think that um, your males aren't as good than your females. And then a lot of times, you, you forget that, that your males are just as good and they beat your females. <laughs> Happened to me many a times. She needs a good bath, so we'll give her that. That's why our feather quality isn't quite as good. Uh, chickens are bad about that. Um, her dad was actually the one that won at the state fair. I'll get him out here in a little while. Might be even a little later, little later video. But she's beautiful. She'll be she'll be going to. I keep wanting to say Fayetteville. Fayetteville got canceled. Um, she will be at Shawnee, and so will my little blue wheat and old English game rooster right here. His tail could be a little bit higher. I'm sad I didn't get to dub him, but with everything that goes on, just don't have time. I won't be able to show him as a cockbird, but for a little while longer that he's a cocker, I'll be able to show him. And maybe we might win. I didn't get to take him to state fair, sadly, because he didn't have them two sickle feathers. Yet. Calm down, it's just a goat. But yeah. He's just as beautiful. Also, this is Rudy. He's a real pain in the butt. He's going to be leaving soon. 